everyone, and happy time zones. It's your bird, Avon the Raven, and welcome back to Dark Souls Uncasual. Today I intend to defeat the Capra Demon, which is in Lower Undeadburg. What? Uh, da 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 da. Unlock, uh, two of the magic teachers, the two basic ones. And, uh, da 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 da. Defeat the, uh, Hydra in Dark Root Basin. Hi. Where did you even... Alright then. Alright, this should be... Ah. Mistimed. Because it's from over there, you should be able to get down there. If I can skip even just a couple of those dogs. It's worth it. Well, at least the first time around, because... Really, the tough part of Lower Undeadburg is just getting around... Oh, hi. Uh, but, uh, it's just getting that second shortcut. Oh, oh dear. Ah, I mistimed again. I've never actually managed this before, but I'd have to go back and uh, defeat the dogs behind me anyway, but I'd rather... Just get the stu- Okay, this isn't gonna work. I can't- I can't angle it properly, and I don't have the patience for much more of that. So, plan B. Well. I suppose I should give it a couple more tries since I went through all the effort of looking it up and all that. What? Why did I get. I just bounced off the wall. What? I wasn't paying as much attention the first couple times, but is that what happened? Like, all of them? I just bounced off the wall? Okay... There we go! Oh, shoot. Oh. 
Okay. That could have gone better. But at the same time, I did accomplish my goal of getting down here. Now let's unlock this shortcut. Because this is honestly the problem here, right here. And so long as I don't completely goof or in the clear. I can't get that until I uh, defeat the Capra Demon. But Capra can wait until I... Clear out everything and have the option to cheese him. There we go, I no longer need to go through Undeadburg to get to the Capra Demon. Down we go. And back up. I think this one loads the thing or loads the enemies back in as alive every time you uh, da -da 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 -da, leave the area, which includes just heading over to Firelink. The spear is proving to be. A very, very delightful investment. I need to get better about angling myself. That was actually so terrible. That... <laughs> I goofed so hard on that, oh my gosh. Yeah, this is not an area you go through with only the five flasks. I'm going to unlock this stuff just because I can. You t all right? Good for you, person. This should loop back around to Solaire. Yeah, because I remember this place. He's still sitting there. All cheery. Let's go back down. I would very much like to know why Upper and Lower Undeadburg are separated by such a convoluted system. It's like they des it's like the place was designed specifically to hold uh, the CD underbelly. Uh, 
I don't know why I went up there, but okay. What? I know I didn't hang you. What? How did you... Couldn't you just blast the door open? You're a sorcerer, dude. Hello. Brilliant. You opened the door for me. Thank you. I'm saved. I thought I might never escape. I am Griggs of Vinheim, the sorcerer of the school. I am much obliged for your assistance. Thanks to you, I may now resume my travels. Oh, hello. I'm fine. I have my sorcery. And I will... Beside. That all? Oh, hello. I'm fine. I have my sorcery. Besides, I have an important task at hand. Alright. Now over here is just some humanity. <laughs> I will gladly take the humanity. Pico! Hello! How you doing? Uh, Dark Souls or Remastered, Dark Souls 1? Yeah, I've played it uh, I've played it through twice. Uh, da -da -da -da. Beat the DLC both times. But it is one I'm comfortable. It is a game I'm comfortable with, honestly, or relatively speaking. Manus terrifies me, but other than that, well, Manus and the Four Kings. was spoiled on where the DLC was. I, um... Like, before I even got the game, I was spoiled on that one. You know what? If I do... Th if I do the cheese... I should actually... Be able to best capper demon without rest without needing to replenish my uh da -da 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 -da. Estus Iron Golem, huh? That that boss can actually be pretty tough if you don't know what you're doing. But at the same time, it's very gimmicky if you do. Alright. That never happened. Really? I believe it was that. Uh, how long are your oh dear how long are your streams
One and a half hours. Okay. That that I can see. Yeah, Sin's Fortress is actually my favorite area in this game. Perhaps it was that one then? Not Blight Town's pretty good too. Alright, cool. I don't think Capra survives that. Yes, I am shitting him. The reason Blight Town has such a bad reputation is because when the game first came out on the, uh, P was it PS2 or PS3? Something like that. Uh, the console couldn't keep up with the number of enemies that were in it. So there were massive frame drops. Yep, you just throw either firebombs or excrement over the walls and mayhem. <laughs> well, profit. You don't even have to actually enter the arena for this one. Um, Manus, you can also cheese... Uh, Manus being... Uh, pardon for the spoilers here, but... Uh, a later boss. <laughs> yeah, it's a very hand it's a very handy cheese, especially if you're playing like a glass cannon build. Yeah, Ringer on the Rosie does also work. I've managed it both ways. I'll probably uh I'll probably do the uh, I'll probably fight him legit in, in New Game Plus because I'm planning on going up through New Game Plus 2 and just stopping before I fight the final boss of New Game Plus 2. Reason being, as soon as you beat the final boss, it immediately puts you into the next new game cycle. I do feel kind of bad for this guy, honestly. <laughs> you just see the numbers. Meanwhile, he's wondering why he's covered in poop. Oh, he dropped something. Now I actually will head back to Firelink. Uh, yeah. I... I believe there's a lot of covenant, covenant ones. Or, I believe there's a lot of... Oh, right. Every single weapon in the game. Or something along those lines. Or was it every, uh... Because there is... Hi. Just a lot in general. Okay, now quick question. Can I get... Twenty thousand souls real quick. Oh, 
Well, as far as covenants go, there's, uh... I'm not gonna be able to get 20,000 that easily. The Way of Light, which you can get pretty much as soon as you enter the game. There's the Dark Wraiths, which you need to beat a boss called the Four Kings to get access to. And you also need to do that before you talk to an NPC called Frampt, or the uh, guy who g gets you into the Dark Raids simply won't allow you to. There's the Princess Guard and the Blades of the Dark Moon, both of which are seated in An Orlando. Uh, da -da -da -da. I forget what the dragon one is called, but that's in an area called Ash Lake. You can reach it through Blight Town. Well, you can reach it through an area connected to Blight Town. And... The, uh, and then there's the Chaos Servants. Which, that one is, unless you have a very specific spell, required to save an NPC. Uh, really all the co covenants in this game are more uh, player interactive than anything. Say, uh... Oh, wait, there's also the Forest Hunters, which that one's a PvP one. The different, uh... <laughs> Princess Guard and Way of White... Oh, and the Sunlight Warriors. How did I forget the Sun... How did I forget the Sunlight Warriors? Way of the White? It doesn't really do anything except, uh... Uh, okay, Chaos Servants. Yeah, the Chaos Somethings. That's the one you have to offer humanity to the... or to Quelag's sister. Um, if you do that, you get access to a couple different things. One of which being a way to save an NPC that otherwise is unsavable. I'm trying not to get too spoilery here. But really the only difference between the Covenants is the way you interact with them and the rewards. Because each one has a different thing that you turn in. Aside from Way of White, Way of White is just kind of there. Uh, and when you turn it into the Covenant Leader, when, when you turn the thing into the Covenant Leader, you get buffs in return. Sometimes new spells, sometimes new item, or like a ring. Uh, a weapon in a couple cases, I think. Uh, trial and error, because if you talk to the Covenant leaders, uh, in the case of the Chaos Servants, it would be Quelag's sister. Then it'll say, offer blah blah blah. blah. In uh, the case of the Chaos Servants, it's offer humanity. And then, provided you have hu humanity up in that little circle in the top left corner of the screen, mine has, says zero, zero at the moment. She only has dialogue if you have a specific ring equipped. But if you talk to her, it'll have the offer humanity screen and you can do that. And I believe that rank 2, where you get the uh, really good stuff for Chaos Servants, is 30 humanity. Um, I believe you get a good spell, and... This yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, Covenants... Covenants are a whole thing. <laughs> Like, once you've got them down, you've got them down, but before that point... You are undead as well. No time to fraternize. I have my mission and you no doubt have yours. We must not let this curse overcome us. <laughs> Fair enough. 
honestly, the best way I've found for uh, keeping track of the lore is to pay attention to plot points and if something's bothering, bothering you, go into your inventory because all the item descriptions have lore in them. So if you really don't understand something, maybe one of your weapons or something has an explanation for you. Oh, Raya? Yeah, she's rude, but uh, she is the better miracle teacher. If you manage to save her, of course. Did I not explain the urgency of our times? Or are you so uncouth as to lack such judgment? By the looks of you, I should think not. Hmm? What have we here? You look awfully raggedy. Times are grim. The least you can do is look sharp. Don't you dare meet my lady like that. You might scare her off for good. Oh, you again. What business have you? Don't suppose we can help, though? We accompany my lady on her righteous mission. It is quite true, but I'm stuck with her. And Nico, too. I can't very well abandon them now. Hey, happy to help. And have an excellent... And happy to have you as well. Have an excellent day, Piku. Well, I hope to see you later. Mm. Oh, Abby. my guests have finally arrived. I will be departing with them shortly. So, I'm afraid I will be saying goodbye soon. It was uh -huh. Oh, hello. Miracles, I presume? Yes, I know. Talk. An mission? Regrettably... I cannot share that with you, but you are my pupil. Perhaps if you show your faith. Very well. I can surely tell you, of all people, undead clerics are given a mission to seek kindling. Kindling is the art of feeding bonfires with humanity. Through kindling, we shall one day be granted magnificent power. Rhea is the youngest daughter of the good house of Tharaman. Those young knights are her old schoolmates, but I'm not sure what to make of them. I'm afraid they may be a bad influence. You're the bad influence, dude. Rhea is the youngest girl, but I'm afraid. Come again. The effectiveness of the teacher. Okay, does... He say anything? Well, where have you been? <laughs> I'm glad to see you're safe. Have you heard of trusty patches? If ever a man has rubbed me up the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> You know that you're an annoyance when even Lotrek's like, oh, no, no, no. Alright, does... Has Rhea left now? No, okay. I think I have to actually leave Firelink for that. Uh, the only thing you have that I want costs 20,000 souls, so... Not happening right now. I don't even have that many souls. Aw, no humanity.
Do do do. I need to open the depths to get or to rescue the second early game magic teacher. Do do do. Okay. Aha, this way. And I see your eyes glowing in the hi dark. Alright, you. Yep. There's a couple different things I want to get down here, or get that are down here. Well, I wasted a fireball. Ma'am? Goodbye. <laughs> ah, hey! One, two, okay. Large ember, all right. And now I go down here. Hello, Mr. Big Rat. Oh, great. One. Two, three, four. I'm going to need fire bombs. And I have to make my way around to get that. Let's not fall down over there. Humanity needed. I believe the key's down here. Somewhere. Sewer chamber key. There we go. And I think... I think it was to the left. Ha ha! I still remember. It's been several months since I played this game, but I remembered that. This lets me go back up here. And... 
Oh dear. Hi. May as well kindle this one since I'll have to use it for the gaping dragon. Since I got the humanity literally right up front, right outside the door, there and I'm already human. There was literally no point in not doing that. Now we go down here because there is an invasion that I actually want to trigger. Okay. And I'll have to remember to go back around, because, uh... You definitely don't want to go into the gaping dragon fights unprepared. And I would definitely call going into the gaping dragon fight without having taken out the buffer on the higher levels unprepared. Oh dear. Dude. Yeah, let's not get close to the basilisk. Or I guess I'm getting close to the basilisk. All right then. Just all right, then. <laughs> All right, where do I use this humanity? I think I've actually uh, kindled all of the important bonfires for now. Where haven't I kindled? Because I kindled this one. Undeadberg, been kindled. The one in, uh... Actually, both the ones in Darkroot I've kindled. Huh. Where... Do I kindle? Because I don't want to run around with this much human- or with any humanity, really. You. Die!
One, two. One, two. Please die. Please. Thank you. Okay. Thank you for the raid, Mr. Moth. N nice to meet you. How you doing? Two, three, hey. I'm doing well as well. Might I ask what you were playing and how your stream went? Well, wait, I'm assuming that's part of WoW, actually. Okay, so I'd say that the one weakness of spears would be slimes. Oh. Hello! Push? Nice to meet you as well. How you doing? Well, oh my gosh. Thank you for the follow. Uh, both Mr. Moth and Push. Oh? The Goofy streams are the best. <laughs> Hi. One, two... Oh hey, I got a bag. Let me just... use myself as a battering ram here. I just need you to go back to Firelink. Alright, so he'll head back to Firelink of his own volition. I should follow suit. The problem is going to be getting out of here, honestly. Can I hit you? I can bait you into coming closer, that works for me. Let's head up here and drink. Oh dear. Would you just... Would you stop that? But I've never actually heard of Not For Broadcast. Uh, I'm a... What's it about? I'm assuming something to do with broadcasting. Or... Not broadcasting. Hi. Ah, uh, yep. Okay. That's interesting. Where... 
Wait, did... Okay, so these guys hopped down to face me. Why do I have two humanity now? I don't want two humanity! Stop it! It's one of those things that just keeps giving me anxiety that I'm going to lose it! Regardless... You. Ah, oh, no humanity. Uh, item humanity, not liquid. Liquid humanity is unnerving to carry around. Item humanity, however... Oh dear. It's just fun times. All right, use items. Three of these. Ha ha! That's enough. I regret meeting you under such compromising circumstances. At least we both made it back unscathed. Incidentally, yeah. I to learn any sorceries. You're pretty talented, and besides, I know yeah, this is uh. But I am happy to teach you some elementary spells. Are you interested? This is technically my third run. I am well then. I say technically because, or well, I guess it's sort like yeah. sort of. That'll do. May we meet? Oh wait, there is one. Ah, uh, da, 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 da bonfire. Yeah, I've got a route planned out. But I've beaten this game twice. Uh, my original, original playthrough, I actually wound up walled on the Four Kings. Because I was stupid and hardly invested into anything. So I had a lot of grinding to do, and I just said, you know what, I'll start over. I myself am a pyromancer, what are you talking about? Alright, uh, I'll buy another copy of Fireball because that's always useful. Well, this is my favorite genre. Like, I love the uh, challenge and how much like actual skill goes into playing these games. I, I need more Titanite. But first, all of my bonfires that I need to be upped, I think, are actually upped. So... Or at least for the moment. Let's head back to the undead asylum. Because I need to do that before I forget to anyway, because I will forget the doll. I've done it both my- or I've done it twice. I've forgotten the doll twice. So let's not make that a third time.
there's honestly um i do actually have a recommendations channel on my discord you will have to like i'll put lies of p on there regardless well just give me a second but if you're interested in uh, recommending me any games discord's the place to do it I'm back here. Hello. Oh dear. Nope. Yeah, I really need more Titanite so I can upgrade my stuff. Hold up, I forgot to equip the ring. The ring I just spent 20,000 souls on. And I forgot to equip it. Let me just rest over here or, and kindle it so I can have my 10 flasks. All right. <laughs> Thank you so very much for the lurk. And I hope you have an excellent day, Moth. Wait, 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 attune spells. All right, Oscar. Yep, that happened. This... Dude, stop rolling. I see you rolling and I definitely hating. I don't think I'm strong enough for Stray Demon yet, but I can probably cheese this guy. Do-do-do. Oh dear. You won't follow me up the ladder, so if I can make it to the ladder, I'm safe. Mended or so for him to get back into position because he does not regenerate his health. Mm -hmm. 
And I have 12 more fireballs. Should be fun. Did you hear me coming or something? I'll take that. Yeah, I really don't want to take on the stray demon until I'm positive I can win. Because if I win but die at the same time, then I lose the... Uh, da -da -da. Like if it ends in a tie, then I lose the Titanite Slab. I'm not sure I can take this thing out uh, without dying in the process. So I'm just going to operate under the assumption that I can't take it out at all. And come back later. But I do actually want one more thing before I head in to any of the other areas. And that'll be the rusty iron ring. Hmm. Perhaps I need... Yeah, I definitely need more titanite. Two, okay. Did Let me get behind you. There we go. Good hollow. the heck? Alright then. Oh, come on. Dude, unless you close the distance quickly. Let me just head down here. Ooh, wait, 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 wait. You you gonna follow me? Ah. All right. 
right. You know what, while I'm here, I might as well uh, kindle the bonfire on the other side of the Undead Asylum, because that could be handy. Actually, that might be the better one to uh, spawn at regardless for when I want to fight the Stray Demon. Seriously, every bonfire I have access to, I think, I've kindled. It's kind of crazy when you stop and think about it. I have the doll, so I don't have to worry about not being able to enter the painted world. I can do that pretty much when I get there. Oh dear. Which will give me access to a few different things. Oh dear. You know what? Bird. Bird, take me back to Firelink. I don't want to deal with these fools. never lets you down until it literally has to let you down into the nest but we don't talk about that it's so a first bell rung I can't even get access to you. Why am I hearing your sleep dialogue? Modify. Reset my spawn point and then I'm actually going to go talk to Andre and buy some titanite shards. I'm heading in that direction to take on the Hydra anyway. Oh, you again? Me? Uh, I've become separated from my lady. I've scoured near and far, but no sight of her. Where could she have gone? My lady, to think I swore to protect you with my life. Lying Your piece of... Where have you gone? I am entirely to blame for this. Oh, woe is me. I am unworthy. Deathly so. Yeah. Couldn't have put it better myself. And I don't... How much does Lautrec require for this information is the problem. Let me get up to 3,000 just in case. I don't think they'll make me spend terribly much, but... Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Get down here. Alright, Latrec, do you have information for me? Unless you cost... Uh, unless it's by my uh, past my budget, I'm willing to buy it. My current budget is 3,330 souls. Three off from a perfect number. Let's go, I can afford it! A wise choice indeed. Maiden Theron and her followers recently arrived in this land, but she became stranded. Below the catacombs. Her followers either fled 
were reduced to hollows, leaving Maiden Thurland all alone. Not a bad tip. A new bar cleric would be replete with humanity. Thank you for the tip, Lotrek. That tip I gave you. I heard it from a fleeing old man. That poor bastard. All his robes and trinkets won't help him now. <laughs> uh huh. Our future. All right, Petrus. What do you have to say for yourself? Latrick just outed you. Have you spoken with Sir Lotrec? Splendid. In the depths of the catacombs, Milady slipped off the giant's coffin and into a hole. Her two companions are no longer human, and the lass weeps in solitude. Right now, you could do as you please with her. The poor little purebred is entirely helpless. <laughs> Again, the effectiveness going down into the catacombs now would be a very bad idea. I don't have a divine weapon. Oh, wait. And, uh, even if I did, I don't really have the uh, stats where it would be very useful. Perhaps I will put some investment in faith after all. I'll need to take out pretty much everything in the cathedral, or in the undead chapel, or whatever this place is called. It's not a cathedral because there's no pope or anything. Or Pontiff? I think it's Pontiff in this world. Undead Parish, okay. Yeah, I forget the name, for whatever reason. Uh, that works. I'm perfectly okay with that outcome. 100% perfectly okay. Now, if only they would drop what I need them to drop. Because early game, I've put off Titanite shard farming for a lot longer than I should have, honestly. Yeah. Ow. Oh dear. You, you have a chance of dropping a Titanite shard. Come here. I'll drink to your defeat. Uh, Andre might have... Uh, da, 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 da. Well, I know for a fact that he has Titanite Shards for sale. But... Hmm. I might have to buy them. Hi. 
I suppose I should start thinking about what I want my endgame armor to be. Because I'm almost at mid-game. And I haven't actually touched any armor upgrading anything. No, there is one more uh, bonfire I haven't kindled. It's the one by the sunlight altar. Or altar of sunlight. Hi! Dude. Nope. Haha, -ha, a Titanite shard. That's handy. That is really handy. Oh, hi. Where did you I didn't even realize I was kicking this guy in the head. You know, that actually looks like a semi-comfortable position. That, I have no idea how it happened. Alright. Actually, wait, is the Drake back? If he is, I can lure the Black Knight down there. Oh dear. Really? Where did you go? Like, seriously, where did that guy go? Once again, I have no idea how this happened. Let's head back to Andre. Don't have to take the side path this time because there's nothing left in the in the parish. Than down here. Okay. I think I might actually want Beatrice's set. Like the black or well, I I know for a fact that I'm actually going to be wearing Dusk's headgear, so there's no point in that. I actually really like the way the Brigand Gauntlets look. Oh wait, this I need... that. Ah, uh, hmm. For now I'll keep on my heavy boots. Have to make sure to give Andre the embers. 
because I have two for him. Takes like these and the divine ones, I think. I can't believe I forgot that. I'm gonna need twenty thousand later on. Cause I'd rather not have to go past the Hydra and the Golems. Or, well, what was once the Hydra and the Golems every single time I want to get to... attempt to get to Sif. As for my endgame weapon... What do I want that to be? Um, hmm. I believe I've proven that I like my spears and pole arm, or I like my pole arms in general. Spears, halberds, you name it. So probably something along those lines. Or I could just go completely bonkers and well, bonk everything with the Manus Catalyst. That would be funny. I've done it. That thing... It's a great axe. It's not a catalyst. It's a great axe that you can use to cast spells. Where is Spawnfire? Here we go, I believe. Yes, okay. Repair... You know what, may as well repair everything just to get the souls out of my inventory. Head up. Do -do -do. Dark root basin. This place can be. A l this place is bad. Bad news <laughs> sometimes. If I manage to get to Alvina, I could join the. Uh, Forest Hunter Covenant or whatever it is hers is called and then pretty much just have constant access to a spot or and then just have uh, access to a spot where I could snipe the stupid thing but okay, wait where's the path Hold up, hold up, hold up. Where's the path? I believe I might have gone up too far. I definitely went up too far. And I don't want to, uh... I don't want to pick up anything in this area until I've got the Hydra dead. Because if I go too f- 
Let's not get too far past this thing. Oh, come on. I just got yoinked. I actually just got yoinked. Well played, Hydra. Well played. So glad I used up my humanity prior to that. But the uh, loot in the water is actually a really good indicator of how, f how deep you can go before you'll wind up falling off that cliff. Are you joking me? I hate those things. The golems F up so much of this. Would you just get over here, please? One... Eight. Let me hit you!
where did you there we go Okay, seriously, like... There we go, where's the last head? Dude, just, please, just, that head, that is the weird head, I hate this head. Dear. Okay, what do I have for arrows? This is, um, yeah. Hopefully this is enough. There we go. Yeah, uh, bows in this game are incredibly useful. For the sake of that, if nothing else. Can't believe the thing was so against attacking me normally. Oh my gosh. Well, at least the Hydra didn't take several hours this time. Seriously, that wonky head. I hate the wonky head. Where? Okay. The wonky head just loves to stick itself in the rock wall. I don't know how you're technically supposed to deal with that. May as well. The winged spear has currently served me quite well. Actually, let's head back to Firelink. Because I should be able to upgrade my pyromancy flame with this amount of souls. And I'm still not set on what I would like my endgame armor to be. So I'm not too worried about Titanite Shards at the moment. I'll worry probably a little more after I handle the debts. Do-be-do-do. Here we go. I'll probably wind up homeward boning back. Oh dear.
If only for the fact that... Well, if I don't rest anywhere, I just run all the way back to Firelink, I can Homeward Bone back to that bonfire that I rested at last. Which then puts me in a good position to free Dusk. I'd like to have her freed and at least have her catalyst, because her catalyst is actually pretty broken. It doesn't have very good scaling. However, its base stats make it so that the earliest other catalysts really outclass it is like 40 or something. So if I do decide to get into sorceries, like actual sorceries, that will tide me over for a while. Oh, Laurentius! I need you to power up my pyromancy flame! Oh, hello there. I'm oh, pleased to see you safe. As always, if you provide the materials, I can teach you pyromancy. Four thousand. I have souls in my inventory. Or one soul. Which is enough. Oh, well, oh, that's all. I think this goes up to like 10 before you can ascend it. Homeward Bone. Oh, pardon. Head up here. I'm gonna have to take care of some of the golems. Um, I'm gonna have to take care of some of the golems on my way down or they're going to make rescuing Dusk a pain. Come on. That's good. Now I just need you all to come over here and get stuck in this corner. Will this work? Sort of. All right, none of you see. Neither of you see me. Let's keep it that way. In the future, every time I want to talk to Dusk, I should take care of them, because otherwise they will kill her. But... Here we go. I also have to be very careful not to use any Chaos Pyromancy on this thing. 
on future runs, or she just outright dies. Because she will spawn standing right in the uh, fire. Yes. Alright, and then if I come back over here after resting, her outfit should be over there. And her uh, helmet actually gives me one heck of a DPS boost. Provided I'm using pyromancies, of course. Or sorceries. Actually, I should probably go get the uh, forest watcher, or not watcher, uh, rain, or uh, ranger? No. Hunter, forest hunter. I play way too many games that have f f uh, forest blank as a faction. If it took me that long, like, what? Oh, that's embarrassing. I think I'm actually blushing. That is so embarrassing. That forest Hunter Covenant. Alright, back to the bonfire. To reload the area. And then I need to... Oh dear. Okay, I, I really did just almost go off the wrong ledge. Though I suppose in this case, any ledge is the wrong ledge. I'll talk to Alvina first here because I think doing so actually unlocks an additional shop in Blight Town. Which could be handy later. Wrong direction, I think. Or wait, right direction? What direction am I supposed to be going here? Okay. I, I, I didn't just get lost in a bonfire room. What you talking about? Totally knew where I was going the whole time. Alright. I need to kill all of these things because I will be talking to Dusk. Oh dear. Let's see here, my last alluring skull. Did that thing buy it? Or is it just slow walking anyway? I think it just noticed me, not the skull. A shame. There we go. Come on.
That gives me some souls to play around with. Oh, dusk! I probably won't remember to come see her before I, uh... tackle in Orlando. So I should buy everything I can now. Because you lose access to her. I cast light. I'll get. Alright, so that's um, honestly not much. But you lose access to her for a little while. Granted, you can still buy the spells from Elizabeth. But that requires unlocking the DLC. Let's head over here. Because, aha, there's Dusk's outfit. She's not technically of this time, so she doesn't really stay here that long. This is her body. At least, I can assume this is her body. Crown of Dusk. Now my fireballs do more damage. Happy, happy, happy. Alright. And now we head up here and find a find not fine. I'm not I'm not sure I really can lobby a fine at her. A cat. Because getting this will make things a lot easier. For me in the long run. It unlocks a merchant in Blight Town, I believe. And, uh... makes it so that if I come, or when I come back here, later, I don't get attacked by the NPCs in the forest. Which makes getting back to Sif very, or a much simpler affair. Just have to make sure not to anger the cat. Yeah, yeah. Where's the bridge? Where is the stupid bridge? I believe it's over there, actually. There we go.
Wilt thou not join us? Oh, yes. I believe we would suit thee well. I am very glad. And now, let us establish. There we go. And here, take us this room. If thou wearest that ring, it allows for thine summoning. If mine senses reveal intruders, I will summon thee. Fend them off, sir. I beseech only this. I shall summon those who will on their honor work tirelessly with thee. Thou shalt receive great reward, and once more we shall pillage a true agreement, not so. But thou must heed. Never harm another. The clan is thy own. Do not respect the clan, stay true. Darest not in any attempt to double cross. Have. Now, so long as I don't do anything stupid, I should be fine. But I can't talk to these ones. Hello! I'm Shiva of the East, captain of the brigade. Let's teach you the clan basics now. This is no time to chat in the midst of fighting, except there is little in the clan of the rules. Fight and harm as you will. Whoever is fastest, only. Don't forget. That's about. It. Don't worry. Great to have you here. Don't. You'll be hunted. All right. I think he's the one that actually becomes a merchant in Blight Town. Tail. Ah. Uh, okay. There's also a chest. Let me go get that. Head down. That could be useful later. Depends on if I'm able to wear it or not, really. Because poise tanking is pretty broken. Alright, homeward bone. Um, where do I want to go? I need another 20,000 to get the Crest of Rotorius just to make that run back easier. It's the run back to Sif, if you have the, if you're part of the cats cov of the cat covenant and uh, have the crest of Artorius is, it's pretty much a straight line. The only things you have would have to fight are maybe some bushes, and that's if you take a wrong turn. So I'm going to wait on Sif for that at least. With that, I actually think that's the last of the optional content. Well, not quite last of it, if you take into consideration the fact that, uh... Since I took the Master Key, the Depths is optional. But I still want to take out the Gaping Dragon. Huh. I'll take a drink and then I guess I'll head into the depths. Uh, which way do I want to go? Through the Valley of Drakes or up through Darkroot? Darkroot's the easier path. Wrong direction! That is the exact wrong direction. Uh, I can buy a Titanite shard actually while I'm over here. 
probably clear out the parish in front of Andre. If only so that I can potentially get more Titanite shards. Because this is actually a point where I should start worrying about that. The Depths, then Blight Town, and then... I could take on Ceaseless. I think I might actually take out Ceaseless over this way. But after that... Rest at the parish, clear it out, and then talk to Andre and buy as many, uh... Actually, wait, I should... I... Wait, 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 wait. I have the Titanite shards, I can upgrade my weapon. I have the, I have a single large Titanite shard, I remember picking it up earlier. I should be able to upgrade my weapon. The thing with the raw, though, is that it takes away the scaling. I don't even have a green titanite shard, but... Don't get yourself with that, I can actually just upgrade my, uh... uh da -da 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 weapon myself now if I get the large titanite shards. But let's clear out the parish real quick. And then buy as many titanite shards as I can after the fact from Andre. Ah, Piku! Welcome back! Hey. Right. Uh, while you were gone, I... Uh, obtained a bull or uh, a second magic teacher, and I uh, da -da -da -da, defeated a Hydra. Doo -doo -doo. Dude. So how was your, what, hour and a half? Or something like that? Ah! <laughs> yeah, uh, the hi- there's uh, two Hydras in the game. The one in Darkroot Basin is definitely the easier of the two to take out. Depending on what you go into that second one with. I, uh, may or may not have two-shotted it in the past with some sorcery. But killing it is definitely worth it, especially if you're doing a magic build. Or the one in Darker Basin, because you get this uh, headgear that I'm wearing, the wings. It boosts the amount of magic damage specifically that you take, but it also boosts the... M amount of damage your s sorceries and pyromancies do. Uh, the NPC gank up uh, at the top of the cliff, that's one of the covenants I was talking about. You see how my covenant says Forest Hunter? If you become part of that covenant, which you get, which you can by talking to a cat that you find on, on the bridge. Like, there's a bridge in the upper part of Darkroot Garden, and on that bridge, in a window, is the cat. 
you talk to the cat and join her covenant, and those NPCs won't attack you anymore. Provided you don't attack them first, anyway. Makes a couple different things a lot easier. Hello. But the Hydra in the basin is kind of important to kill. The second Hydra, not so much. Yeah, you kind of got to know what you're looking for. Or just take out the NPCs and then uh, before they re or before you leave the area, just look around. That's a lot easier with any sort of ranged build, honestly. All right, you. You're the last normal normal knight in this area. You know what? I should take out the black knight down there. I will forget otherwise. Alright, come on. Wait, what? <laughs> uh, honestly, it unlocks an area later on. Uh, there's an area you quite literally can't get into until you've beaten that Hydra. Seriously, where is the drake? It flew off once and hasn't been seen since. There we go. Um, you're going you're still going to want arrows. Ah. Cuz there's one head that likes to just stay inside some rocks. Are you joking? Get back here, you stupid drake! This whole... The whole purpose of me doing this was to get you back onto the, on top of that. Let's try coming from down here, I guess. The there's the ladder. Oh, and quick tip about pyromancies. In this game, at the very least, they require absolutely zero stat investment. So if you can get your hands on a pyromancy flame, you can use them with literally any build. Okay, seriously, what is going on with this drake? Usually it'll just sit on top of the uh, tower. Hmm. 
Why is it not this time? Fair enough. Wait, what? Well, I just found the rarest enemy in the game. Oh, some poor soul lost their humanity, huh? Yeah, those uh, crab creatures only spawn in if someone died in human form and lost their uh, souls and whatnot. I don't know what its name is, or what kind of enemy it is, but they're really rare because most people... Are, they, ha they literally only spawn in places if someone recently, uh... Alright, bottom feeder. Well, yeah. Is this the game's consolation for not having the, dra the drake perched where it's supposed to be perched? Is that what this is? Uh, I think they actually change depending on certain factors. Come on. TJ, hello, how you doing? Yeah, okay, this, uh, Drake is being a, a real pain, actually. Glad to hear you're doing alright. head back up here. I guess I have to take out the knight legitimately. A shame. What am I... Hearing. Oh, <laughs> this thing's corpse is still here! Alright, you. Now we go upstairs. Hi. Oh dear. Oh dear. Dude, you're dead. Now I'll go buy a bunch more Titanite shards from Andre. And we'll see. Or we'll go from there. Thank you! Yeah, Pyromancy, my flame is at plus five, and I have both a ring and the crown that boost the amount of uh, damage dealt by my... Uh... They say sorcery, but it also affects Pyromancy. Like, the crown of dusk. 
This rare raises the power and effect of the wearer's magic, but the damage suffered by magic attack also rises. I hear something's. Ha ha! Can't fool these ears. And then this boosts the power of sorceries, but it also works for pyromancies, so I'm wearing two buffs. And have a plus five pyro flame. My fireballs do a bit of damage. Two enemies that actually take damage from them, anyway. Come on, I'm just clearing out this place real quick one final time. There are, unfortunately, enemies that are outright immune to fire damage in this game. Uh, if you've made it to Sen's Fortress, then you know what one of them is. Or you managed to skip her somehow. Ah, no loot. Back down here. Let's take out these three fools. Yep, so it was nice to see you, Piku. I hope you have an excellent day. That <laughs> And thank you for your kind words. <laughs> I will. I hope you can and you to kick butt as well. Come on. Ow. Alright, there's one more night up here and then there's the three downstairs. And then it's back to Andre, and then off to the depths. Alright, one more night. Dude, I wouldn't have been able to one-shot you if you'd had your shield up. These knights are so silly. Definitely gonna want to stop at Firelink on my way to the depths. Like, actually rest there. Because otherwise, I'm... If I die, I'm heading right back to the parish. Actually, let's rest here. Just in case I do something stupid. Alright. Purchase. And then repair everything. I should also probably buy more arrows considering I'm going to be... Probably doing a lot of archery in the future. Because archery in this game is actually pretty busted. Unless you're doing great bows, but we don't talk about that. Even then, great bows are pretty busted. You just have to time them right.
All right, back to Firelink. And then I'm going to have to work my way down and around once I get to the depths. I believe I repaired everything. Do I have souls that I can spend at Laurentius? I have one. Purchase. Eight thousand. I'm going to have to climb my way back out of the depths after I defeat the uh, boss. Come back. Because his quest. I lose access to him. I will lose access. I will lose access to him if I continue his quest. And while I can just uh for lack of a better term here, put it away or I can delay it as long as possible. But I might forget to if I progress to a certain point. Cuz I'm definitely going to be running into Koilana. I'm going to make sure I run into Koilana because I'm going to want her uh, pyromancy upgrades and my or er, and uh, da, da, da. well pyromancies. She's hands down the best pyromancy teacher in the game. And since I'm running pyromancer, that's kind of valuable. But I can't remember what exactly triggers him to ask about your pyromancy. But if you tell him what he wants to know, then you end up in an unfortunate situation where he goes looking for Quailana but can't actually find her. One, two, hi, three. And I believe I actually got all of Lautrec's dialogue, so I don't need to talk to him again. Oh dear. You go away. I don't believe the butcher's respawn, so I shouldn't have to worry about that. Hi. Bye. Okay. Slimes. You know what, actually? Let me just do this. Ah. Come on! I'm gonna have to... Hmm. 
I have the route to the boss, like actually to the boss, unlocked. The problem is, this is not a boss you want to face without exploring the area. Because you can wind up in a really bad situation where you're fighting a strengthened boss. Because this one gets a buff if you don't wander around and explore. Thankfully, this isn't a... Uh, large map, but it can be pretty confusing if you haven't done it before. And this is one of the better humanity farming spots if you need it. Come on, just hop out already. What just happened? And they have to be careful because basilisks are the worst. Like the actual worst. I hate those things. We don't go down that path. Alright, I believe here is actually where I find... ...the guy that buffs the boss. Hi! Oh no. Ah. just died to a rat. Oh boy. That is kind of embarrassing. Of all the things I could have died to, a rat. have to be careful not to end up uh, poisoned here. I can't remember if it's poison or toxic. I think it's I think it's just poison. Oh dear. Drink. And then I head down this way. You're kind of toast on your own. I forgot that those boxes explode. Large Titanite Shard. Nice. I believe that's another, uh, thing for my... Where did you come from? Mm. 
You know what? I'm just gonna head back to the bonfire. Because I know that loops around at some point, but I also know that there's multiple drop-off points that put you right in a basilisk nest. And that is one of the worst places to be in if you are not at a point where you can... Yeah. I'm gonna rest, and I still want the loot that the basilisks are guarding. But I'm going to approach it from a different angle. Uh, fair enough, fair enough. Because, typically speaking, you actually have to go through the Basilisk Zone in order to get over here and unlock this door that, that's down here. But I went through and I got the cheater method to getting it. I say cheater method, but it's literally just something that uh, once you know it's there, you can walk down. And that allows me to tackle the Basilisk Nest from behind. Which is handy! Okay, quick question, TJ. Could you hear the sparkles in my voice there? Because I swore I heard sparkles. Yeah, yes. Alright, and I think there's a basilisk down here somewhere. Yep, I see you. These are the last things you want to die to in this game. Literally the worst. Well, unless you're trying for, like, super hyper mode, but I have way too much health for that, so... Oh, I forgot about that covenant. I should actually be able to hit you through here. Yeah, there's a covenant that takes uh, the basilisk guys. Did I, I think I only got the one. Nope, we are running away from that. Alright, that's two basilisks down. I can't hear croaking. Yeah, you can, I can hear croaking. Hi. Mm, back off.
Ears are amazing. Little fleshy nubs that give so much input. Or, well, I suppose they're not nubs. But fleshy flabs, there we go. I do believe that's the last of that. Ring of the Evil Eye, okay. You know what? I think it's time to head out of the depths because I've got exactly the 8,000 that I need to uh, clear out Laurentius's wares. So I'll do that real quick and then I'll come back down here. Because I still have to actually finish the depths. But I'm going to be spending a lot of time down here and in Blight Town. So I'd rather not make that make this trip more than a couple times. You. And now I run. Okay. I have to be careful on my way out here because I can run into a very unfortunate situation. Oh, cool. I forgot these things don't have a lot of HP, and my spear is plus six. Why do I have humanity? Where did the dog go? But it fell off the ledge. Okay then. Okay then. You... Hi. Don't even need to two-hand my spear anymore to kill you people. Hey! Do do do. Upstairs. Back through Undeadburg. There's a lot of backtracking in this section. And back to Laurentius, and then we head back down into... Why did I just get caught on a door? The depths and fight the boss. Right. 
Hi. I almost just fell off a ledge. I think I'm actually just going to not, uh, rest at Firelink's bonfire and use a homeward bone to get back to the depths. It's quicker than running back. Plus, it doesn't cost me my one humanity. Which, seriously, when did I get that? Oh, hello there. I'm pleased to see you safe, as always. Purchase. Haha! -ha. Modify. I need 5,500. What do I have as far as souls go? Not enough. Alright, in that case, Homeward Bone. Rest. Okay, then I'll repair. I should not need to summon for this one. I will be very sad if I end up needing to summon for this one. Like, I know I can summon Solar and Lutrak, but... Wait. I don't want you following me. Oh, humanity! The item variety. Nice! Can't get that way. That probably says fatty. Or that message probably says fatty. Expecting everybody to be stick figures. Head over here. Because I know there's something in here. And I know there's some loot down in the boss or in the actual boss arena. are you? There you are. It's not useful loot, but it's loot. Alright. Bus time! And I would very much like to know how this thing ended up the way it did. Because that's not natural. There is no way that that's natural. Not unless this dragon is actually a plant or something. Can I get the tail? Let me get your tail! I want the tail! Hey! There we go. Literally all I wanted.
Now I can kill you. Tried to hit me with something that was an appendage she no longer has. What? I don't know what that is, and I am avoiding it. Oh my gosh! Okay. Guess I gotta hit you one more time with my, uh... Spear. Um... Here's to hoping I can fix my, uh, weapon on my own. Let's use a homework bone real quick. Because it said at risk, it didn't say broken. So either I missed something... Okay. That was almost bad. That was almost very bad. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna level up. I should put some points into faith just because I know for a fact I'm going to want a divine weapon later. I repaired everything, right? Okay. And honestly, I think that's an amazing place to end it. If you're interested in anything I've done up until this point, please check out my YouTube channel. I try to upload my streams same day, but sometimes that's not possible. If you're interested in chatting off stream or seeing my announcements or even just leaving a game recommendation, please check out my Discord. Uh, do note though that most of the channels are private, so you will have to interact with Carlbot to get a role so that you can get access to those, and if you don't have a role by Saturday, I will kick you off the server. If you've made it this far and are curious to see where I go from here, why not drop a follow? It takes but one button press, and you can always change your mind if you decide my content isn't for you. That said, happy time zones, everyone, and I hope you all have an excellent day.